Hey guys, it's Carl's here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so right off the bat, you may have realized or noticed, I hope so, <laughs> that I'm not in my studio. I'm actually in front of my doors in my home. Now you're probably wondering, Carl's, why are you standing in front of your doors? All right, so since you asked, <laughs> This is the reason why I cannot be left at home with my own devices. I'm not sure if you're like me, but sometimes I'm just sitting there on the couch or wherever, and I'm like, hmm, why does that look like that? Hmm, could I do this instead? Do you know what I mean? It's like nonstop, my mind is always, always running, and plus I'm always painting something in the house. But today we're not gonna be painting anything. Today we're actually going to be attempting I say attempting because you never know, right? Okay, so we're going to be attempting to, um, well, let me show you a little bit more clearly rather than standing in front of the door. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so let me move you, let me move you along with me, right? Okay, so as you can see behind me, there is this wall that's, I guess, the framing around the door, right, of the front doors. Last summer, I had put up these sconces, our light fixtures. They're not electrically done. Is that a word? But you're gonna know I mean, right? They're not done electrically wise. So what I end up doing is just attaching them, screwing them into the wall, and I end up putting like some of these little things in here. Um, I guess, I don't know what to call them. They're just like, ugh, I can't get it out. Give me a second. Okay, so I finally got it out. Just. Anyways, all right, so it's like these little like um, LED rechargeable lights, right? So it's pretty cool because if you don't want to deal with the hassle of doing electrical work and if you're someone like me who's constantly changing his mind or her mind about everything that you do in your home, this is actually a cool way to do like creating a sconce within, or sconces, because I have one on the upper side, opposite side of the, the doors of the house, right? So um, pretty much it just, plot it in and then I put these in which again these are LED as I mentioned and they're rechargeable so look let me just turn this on. I got the remote over here see this so hopefully you can see it through the light because I got light in here um, but it does have like different let me see it gets gets brighter see that so it looks really really nice at nighttime anyways where was I going with this oh yeah this wall Squirrel woman, right? Okay, so I need to take these sconces off along with the um, light plate, light switch plate, mm -hmm. and then uh, attempt to put this wallpaper up. So I ended up purchasing this wallpaper originally to install in the ceiling of my bath in one of our bathrooms. Yes, I said the ceiling. <laughs> so, but that's gonna be a project for another day. Okay, so I'm taking the same wallpaper because I want certain rooms to be cohesive, right? So you see like, oh, okay, you put it over here too. <laughs> it's in order, right? <laughs> Not up here. Anyways, so I'm like curious. Yesterday I was sitting down. Yes, this popped in my head up yesterday. I'm like, I wonder if I use that same wallpaper here. I get, let me turn this off. Um, around like this wall, around the whole frame of the door. How would it look? Okay, so if you are curious, the wallpaper does look, let me see, it does look black, but the wallpaper is textured. So it has like this, I, I'll probably include an image somewhere right here, the one that I got from Amazon. Um, it's an image of kind of like, um, uh, I don't know, like a lizard snakeskin print, but a matte black. It's the best way I can describe it. So I'm thinking, okay, that might actually look a little nice in here, right? To give the room a little texture. Okay, so this is the other side. So I'm thinking to myself, if I just put the wallpaper all around the frame, as I mentioned before, again, I gotta remove this, remove this off the wall and then put up the wallpaper. I'm hoping that it's going to look real nice. I mean, if not, two things. I wasted my money on wallpaper and two, it's peel and stick. So I can just rip it off the wall. Hopefully I don't damage the wall. <laughs> But let's keep our fingers crossed that it actually is going to look nice. Okay, so I brought you a little further back. So hopefully you can get like a better idea of exactly what I'm talking about. So again, what do you guys think? Should I just keep it the gray that it is currently right now? Or should I put the wallpaper up there? I'm thinking with the wallpaper, it's going to create more of like a dimension. And especially with like the texture of like the wallpaper, I'm like, oh, please let it come out. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's tackle that. But first things first, I need to get coffee. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, coffee first before we get started. I feel like I'm doing a vlogging video. <laughs> okay, so coffee in hand. 
and ready to tackle the day. Let's just hope this comes together. Fingers crossed with me, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the face plates and the screwed in light fixtures because again, they're not, there's no wiring needed. <laughs> That's the nice thing about this. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now to remove the actual sconces, I just have to unscrew these little tabs right here. Oops, I need to drop that. And then right behind it, as you can see, let me show you real quick. It's kind of how I did it, I kind of MacGyver it. So it's just screwed in from behind and it's pretty much easy and it's really secure. So normally when I'm applying wallpaper to any part of the wall, I like to measure it from the ceiling or at least the point where I'm starting the wallpaper where I'm applying it to the end. This situation, I'm not going to do that to be completely honest. I don't know why I'm not gonna do it. I guess figure I'm just trying to see if this saves me a little bit of the product because normally when I pre-measure it, I always give myself another extra two to three inches to work with just in case. And I feel like I'm wasting too much product. So I'm gonna try it this way, start from the top and then bring it all the way down. Now, the bad thing about this wallpaper is the smidge off of the corner. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So when I apply it, I'm gonna apply it directly against the frame of the door. But on this side, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, there's going to be like maybe an inch to a half an inch off or right here. It's kind of hard to see because uh, this thing is poking out. So I think it's about almost to an inch that is going to be off from this frame, which is perfectly fine because what I'll end up doing is just cutting off, hopefully this has lines and it does, um, it'll give me more of a clean, smooth edge when I'm cutting this down. So this way I can kind of like overlap it and you won't be able to see it. I'd rather do it on this side uh, where it's kind of smooth and clean versus on this end. So as mentioned, I'm gonna start way from the top up here and I'm just gonna work the product down the wallpaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this off and then applying it. But keep in mind, sometimes you may have to like finesse this a little bit because it is peel and stick, which it does give you a little bit of flexibility. But when I say it's, you need to keep in mind the fact that sometimes these are not always straight. So you gotta work with that. So just like I mentioned about, you know, keep in mind that you may have to finesse the wallpaper a little bit because the walls are not always aligned correctly. <laughs> That's just the, I guess, the, the perks of having any type of wall that you're trying to put on wallpaper. It's never aligned correctly. Anyways, so I had to finesse it a little bit. So I had to go back, pull it down the wallpaper, re-put re it back onto the wall. So I'm hoping that the wallpaper still has a good enough uh, adhesive to stick on the wall. So just because even when I was pulling it off from the wall to readjust it, some of the paint was peeling off with the wallpaper. So like, ah, that sucks. Okay, so I got it to the bottom base. So now I'm just gonna use this really nice um, razor blade that it came with. And I'm just gonna razor blade on the bottom to kind of smooth out the edge. Okay, so I ended up placing back the light switch cover and I also screwed on, on top. I screwed back on the light fixture. Now, again, remember what I said earlier, there's gonna be a little bit of empty space right here. I will work on that in a little bit, but now I just wanna finish what left I still have on the roll because there's still a little bit left on the roll of the actual wallpaper or the pill and stick wallpaper. So I'm gonna try to apply it right on top and see how far I can get. So initially I was just gonna measure this part to here and cut a piece off, right? But then I'm like, okay, Carlos, keep in mind, not everything is leveled correctly. So I'm afraid if I do a 12 by 12, right? Just example, it may not necessarily be 12 by 12 over here. It could be 12 by nine over here. So I, you know what, we'll just play with it and we'll go from there. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and finish the other side. Well, just put one panel up. Unfortunately, based on the other side, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough wallpaper. So I have to order another row. And so just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I was able to fill in the empty crack area that one I told you is probably about an inch or an inch and a half. So I end up just taking the remaining of what was left over and then cutting in slices. You honestly cannot see where I pretty much just like 
puzzled it together because it's black. So it's kind of nice thing about this particular, um, I guess, um, style of peel and stick wallpaper is because it is like an animal print and it's matte. You can't really see where the lines are at. Unless you get it up close, then yes. But this is where I'm struggling now is that up above me right here, all of this right here is gonna be left empty. So unfortunately I have to order another roll, as I mentioned, in order, it, in order for it to be completely done. Um, so yeah, I may have to do a second video. Well, no, I have to do another video within a video. That make no sense. But you know what I'm trying to say, right? And since I'm still at it, let me go ahead and finish the remaining of what I can over here and then maybe finish the edging as well. Okay, so now it's a new day. I got the new wallpaper that I ordered and I already put it up. So now I wanna show you the finished product. All right, so right above me is the area that I mentioned that I was going to need additional wallpaper. So I went ahead and finished it as I stated, and I love how it turned out. All right, so let me give you a closer look of how the texture of the wallpaper looks. Hopefully you can see a little bit better right now. Okay, so now if you see the texture of the wallpaper, I love how this turned out, especially right next to the door and to this light fixture right here. The light is on, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but I just love how this visually looks like. And of course right here, it's just completely one piece. I love how this turned out. It does give the room a little bit more definition, 100%. So I'm gonna turn off one of the lights in here. I'm not sure how much you're gonna pick up because right now I'm recording during the day. So a lot of natural light is coming through. So hopefully you're able to see how it looks against the wallpaper and the light fixture. Okay, so I did turn off some of the lights. You actually can see it. It looks so gorgeous. Like I am so happy I went ahead and did this whole unit right here of uh, the door frame in complete wallpaper because it really does give a whole different feel in this area. Thank you so much you guys for following today's video. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below, but give me your thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think? I will try to include a photograph of how it looked before versus what it looks now, but overall, I really do like how it turned out. Again, if it's something that I kind of get sick of, it's peel and stick wallpaper. I can just take it right back down. I'll also include a link in the description field below from exactly where I picked it up from Amazon because there are actually other options as well. And I think this is actually a great way to change up your room without spending a lot of money. Just in case if you are curious how much I spent per roll, per roll is about $13.95. All right, you guys, if you are new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, and before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications. And if you did enjoy this video, still leave a comment below because it lets me know exactly what kind of video content you guys are gearing towards. And I really appreciate that. Because you know, with my channel, I always like to dabble in a lot of different things. So, but until then, make sure to brush your teeth, Watch your culo and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, don't be cochina. Take care. Bye now.